Hey, what's up guys? I'm Steve and welcome to my world. Today we are going on to part number two of our Lego Star Wars Build Your Own Adventure. In the previous video, uh, we showed you all the stuff we got. We get this, we got four of these books. Star Wars is the first one we're looking at here. There's enough Legos in here to build all these different things. The first one we built was the V19 Torrent. Today we will be building the Separatist Cannon. But these are really cool. Um, I like them a lot. Each one of them came with, um, we got a big map, which we're not gonna unfold, but, uh, well, we're not gonna leave out. We'll go ahead and unfold it real quick and just show it to you. But it's got some desert, some forest or whatever this is, and some ice, but you can play with these on, on there. So we're gonna stick that off to the side. It also came with a huge thing of nice little stickers. And actually right there is the separatist cannon that we're gonna build today. I'm gonna put that off to the side. And it came with this big box. Um, it's not really Legos, it's just a look there. And it lists all the different Legos that we got in this set. So we're gonna, again, put that off to the side. The other thing you get with these is this really nice hardback book. They are really cool. And you can see Battle in the Canyons, Ambush in the Forest, Desert Attack, and Ice Mountain Chase. Each book has a very detailed description. It tells about a story, talks about all the different things. Here is the V19 that we built last time. And today, again, we are going to build the Separatist Cannon. So, one quick look at our V19. I thought these things were gonna be pretty small. They're not, actually. Really nice, a lot of good details in them. Uh, this first one came with, this set comes with 189 pieces, so you can build quite a bit of things. This little uh, wing here moves back and forth. These wings all move, it's pretty nice. So we are going to set this over here. We're gonna move this out of the way so that we don't have any focusing issues, and we're actually gonna go ahead and move the other Lego out as well. Let's move him over here so I can grab him for later. Hopefully we have enough pieces to build the remaining thing that we need. We're gonna go ahead and move you guys down so you can see what we're working with. And we did have our two little people, and the first one is Clone Commander Gree. He's a little guy there. And then we also, they don't stand very well on my mat. And then we had the Commando Droid. So those are pretty cool. Put them out to the side and let's get busy building the Separatist Cannon. So in the book, you start with, I forgot to move the camera down now. It'll be a little harder to see, there we go. Talks about the Separatist Cannon, tells you what it does. It has all the statistics for it and everything. It's pretty cool because they give you a nice little, um, over here's a comic trying to show you uh, Commander Grease up here, the little droid down here uh, with the Separatist Cannon. But I like it because it gives you a story, comic, you can read things, it gives you information about the actual thing that you're building. And then here's what we're gonna start with today. So, and each of these sets too comes with, there's six in this one I believe, six or eight, I think there might be eight. But there's enough to build these two here together, these two here together, and these two here together. So you don't have to just build one and then tear it down. You can build a vehicle for each side. The first thing we're gonna do is take this 16 piece black, and I know these are harder to see. Uh, the darker ones are harder to see. We're gonna take two of these normally two piece grays, and they got one peg in the middle of them. We're gonna stick one here on the front like that, and one right there. All right, next we're gonna take a thick one piece gray, looks like this, and we're gonna stick those right here. Let's straighten them up a little bit and right there. Okay, next up we're gonna take a triangular gray piece. Looks like this, okay. And we're gonna put that right here on the second block in, sloping that way. All right, up next we're gonna take two of these pieces that look like this. They're one block wide, but they got two walls on them, nothing on the other two walls. So we're gonna put one in here like this. Straighten that back up. And then we're gonna take the other one, if we can find it, there it is. And we're gonna put it in here like, oop, not like that, like that. So that is what we have. All right, up next we're gonna take two of these thick four-piece dark grays. We're gonna put one right here like this and one right next to it like that. And then we're gonna take another gray triangle. Oops, can't hold on to it. 
another great, <laughs> throwing it all over the place. Okay, another gray triangle that looks like this, and we're gonna stick it right here, like that. All right, up next, we're gonna take this black block that looks like this, hard to see, but it does have ridges in it. I don't know if I, there you go, maybe I can, you can see them now. There's ridges in that on both, one side goes up and down, the other side goes horizontal. We want it to go like this, with the up and down sides on this, on the inside here, right here, okay? Okay, up next we're gonna take a black thick one piece that looks like this, and it has one peg coming off one side, and we're gonna take this black cone that looks like this, okay? And we're gonna stick that off of here like this, and then we're gonna take and stick that on top of a dark gray piece that looks like this again. So we're using another one of these that has one peg in it. We're gonna stick it on top of that one right there, and then we're gonna take that and we're gonna shove it down inside here, like that. Okay, there's what we have. All right, up next we're gonna take two of these thick one piece blacks that look like this, that had the one peg coming off one side, and the peg's gonna to come to the outside, and we're gonna put one, whoops, gonna put one in here like this, and then we're gonna put one right next to it, like that, and then we're gonna put this gray piece, this thick two piece gray, Mate right here it has this big cross cut out of it like that Okay, and that's gonna go on the back right here like that All right up next. We're gonna take and add a four-piece Circular disc. It's dark gray. We're gonna add it right here to these two Maybe there just like that All right Then we're gonna turn around and add let's see here they look to be the exact same to me. Oh, okay, there we go. Found it. So next up, we're going to take three more of these dark gray pieces that look like this. They got one peg in the middle of them. They're going to go across here, and then two more right behind it. So there's one, there's two, and there is three. Okay. All right, next up we're gonna take a six piece gray and gonna put it on the front right here like that. And on the back one here, we're gonna put a three piece dark gray just like that. All right, up next, we're going to take two of these pieces that look like this. They got a huge curve to them and they got one little ledge up here at the top with one peg. We're gonna put them from gray here up to here. So we're gonna put one right here like that, and there's the other one. The other one is gonna go right here, like that. So there's what we have so far. All right, up next, we're gonna take two of these pieces. They're black L-shaped pieces. So you got two peg, a normal two peg piece here, and then it comes down like this, and it's into four pegs on the side. We're gonna put those off each side, right here, and then another one right there, okay? Up next, we're gonna take this very long cross-shaped rod, okay? We're gonna shove it inside here like this, maybe, there it is, right, just like that. And then we're gonna take this gray piece, gray circular disc here, but it has these grooves in it. We're gonna take and stick that on there next, like that. And then on top of that one, we're gonna stick this thick dark gray one, just like this, and push it in. All right, next up, we are going to add another dark gray one. Looks like this, just like that. And then to top it off, let's see here, how many is that? That is one, that is two, we're gonna add another one. So a dark, another dark gray disc, right here like this. And then we're gonna top it off with this, uh, this barrel looking thing here. So it looks like this. We're going to take and add that here. And then in the end of that, is there something in the end of that? It sure looks like there's supposed to be something in the end of that. But I don't see it, so let's let it go for now. Okay. Oh, I see, no, it's just the, uh, the effects of the, the drawing. 
All right, up next, we're gonna take two of these really thick, they're normally six piece, they're smooth like grays. We're gonna put them on the sides here like this. So we're overlapping one on each side and then the same thing on the other side. Oh, I just broke it. Okay, there we go. So there's what we got so far. All right, <clears throat> now we're going to take these smaller ones, four piece smooth ones, and we're gonna put them across the top right here. One there and one here. So there's our cannon part. Now we gotta build the legs. We're gonna stick him down right here. Okay, then we're going to take this eight piece black and we're gonna put four of these pieces that look like this. So they are dark gray. They got two pieces on each side and they hinge. So they move back and forth. So what we're gonna do is we're going to take those and we're gonna put one here and then on each corner. Um, so we have that one, we have this one, we have this one, and we have this one, just like that, okay? Now we're gonna bring them open kinda close to like this for now. Straighten them up as we get them. All right, next up we're gonna put this piece that looks like this, it's light gray, four pieces on one side, got a little tube on the other side. We're gonna put it in here just like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then we're gonna take four of these gray, light gray pieces. They're two piece blocks with a rod on the end of them. We're gonna stick them underneath all four sides here. So we're gonna put one right here like this. Then one over here like this. Then we're gonna put one over here like this. And then we're gonna put one like this. And then we're gonna do the same thing except this time Oh, no, we're not. I lied. So now we're going to do, we're going to take these pieces that are two piece dark grays with one hook on the end of them, and we're going to put the same piece on top of them with this, whoops, you got this rod that comes off light gray, two piece light gray with the rod on the, end, the other side. We're going to put them opposite of each other, so the rod's going to come outside like this. We got the four of those, so there's one, there's two, there's three, and four, okay? And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take each of those and we're gonna apply them right here to this, like that. So there's one, two, three, and four, okay? <clears throat> Up next, what do we have to do next? Okay, next up we're gonna take these, we have four of these, these are triangular pieces, I've never seen these before, they got a little hook on the bottom of them. <clears throat> Excuse me. We are going to take and put each of those on these rods here. So we got one there. We got one there. We have one here. And we have one here. Okay, then inside this little tube here, we're going to put this little black uh, cylinder. So we're going to put it in here like this. Oops, maybe. We did not like that. Come on. There we go, there we go. Okay, and then onto that one, we're going to, or onto this back here, we're gonna put this black piece of what looks like to be grating. It's gonna go across the very back right there. And then we're gonna take this other piece that looks like this. It's got six light uh, pegs on it. It's light gray with that little thing there. We're gonna put it in here like that, okay? Then we're going to take this and shove it down on top of there, just like that. All right. Up next, we're going to take two of these black pieces. They are one-piece blacks that look like that with a little cylinder on the end of them. And we're going to put them on the back here, one that way with the cylinder out this way, and one the other way with the cylinder out that way. All right, then we're going to take two of these translucent red discs that look like this. We're going to put them on the backs of this piece right here. So we got one there, and we have one here. And then we're going to take that whole thing and we're going to take this cannon and we are going to stick it on top of here like this. Um, just like that. And then we're going to take our feet. They all come down. Oops. They come down somehow like, oh, there it is. Like that. And then like this. So you can rotate them down and then flip that triangle down for his legs. These are really cool. They move really well. They got a lot of motion to them. They're just, they're pretty nice. 
and there is our cannon. Pretty cool. And the cannon raises up and fires to shoot at things. So there we go. All right, guys, there is our Separatist cannon. Pretty cool. Again, this is part two. In part one, we built the V19 Torrent. Looks like this. A lot of Legos for these pieces. And of course, we get our two guys, Commander Gree and the Droid Commander. So, what you guys think about these? These are really cool. Now, the next video, we'll wind up tearing these down to build the next set of two, but pretty cool. If you would, guys, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of these. Also, guys, please hit that subscribe button. Your support means everything to us. As always, guys, have fun. Thanks for living in my world, and we will see you next time.